Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for the week of December 21st, which is our last week of the 2018 calendar year. What a year it's been, right? Like what a good calendar year it has been. And I think because we're here at the end of the year, this is always a really nice time for me and hopefully for you guys as well to just take a moment to think about all of the experiences that have shaped our year, all of the things that you've been through, all of the things that you've grown through, um, the places that you're ready to get ready to go as we move into the next year. Um, even thinking about too, you know, people who have definitely touched my life or given me new perspective this year on how to do things a little bit differently and helped me shift and stand in my power and my study and my information a little bit differently. So I'm hoping that there are people this year who have touched you, warmed your lives, showed you that there is something else out there if there's an experience you've been wanting to change, um, and just giving you some good some good vibes, some good woo-woos, you know what I mean? And I certainly hope that through the year I've been able to do that and that I get to do that in a whole nother year coming up as well. So let's talk about what's going on in those cosmos. Okay, so right there at the beginning of the week, we've got Christmas Eve happening on Monday, December 24th. Of course, depending on where you are in the world, some of you are not celebrating Christmas. But um, December 24th, we have got, ah, this is interesting. We've got Mercury and Neptune in a square. Now, when Mercury and Neptune square each other, information can feel clouded, right? It can feel like you're not seeing the whole picture or maybe something about the information is not exactly as clear or as true. It can definitely be an in-between place. So I would tell you if you have conversations at that time um, that are filled with big promises or anything like that, just be easy with working that out. Now, as we get to Christmas on the 25th, um, we've got a really nice, oh, Leo moon in a trine to Jupiter. This is delicious energy because it actually helps to kind of smooth away anything that was overspoken, too expansive. You know, people are like, I caught a fish that was this big. And then we get to Christmas and they're like, well, I mean, it was like this big, you know? So it's almost as if, if anything has been kind of out of sorts or out of whacked, corrective information is kind of coming to the surface. Also, the other part about it is that with the moon in Leo, our hearts are brave, they are open, they are generous, they are willing, and in a trine to Jupiter, it's just a very expansive end of the year um, energy. So I would love to hear what your experiences are on the, those two couple days. Now, on Saturday, December 29th, we've got the sun and the moon again in a square. It doesn't last very long because the moon, remember, moves so quickly. So it's just quick. You're just a little bit, maybe there's um, anxiety going on. Maybe you've got some tension going on. Maybe it's just you're feeling a little bit out of sorts and then things will move on. That energy will just move right past you, okay? Now, as we end this year. We're coming in with some really delicious, pumped up, fire, comfortable energy with Mars moving back home into the sign of Aries. This happens on New Year's Eve. So, wow, what a great way to end the year, I think. I think this puts a little bit of fire underneath us as we get ready for 2019. It gives us that little bit of, yes, 2018, thank you very much. I'm ready for 2019, that little bit of a hustler kind of energy, you know what I mean? So it's nice to bring things to a close and not have it be terribly ceremonial necessarily where we have to stay here forever and be absolutely reverent, but it's like we've done a thing and now we get to progress forward as we start a new calendar year. So I really like that we end the year with Mars coming home to be comfortable in this fire energy. So hopefully the end of the year is absolutely divine and beautiful for you. Wherever you're at in the world, whatever you celebrate at this time of the year, please put it in the comment sections down below. I would love to be able to acknowledge you, at least say happy seasonal thing to you, whatever it is that you celebrate, whether within your culture, within your family, or whatever it is, teach me. I'm definitely willing, open to learn, and I wish you happiness, blessings, celebrations, love, and a lot, a lot of light for whatever your season is bringing as we bring the season to an end. I'm sending you guys a lot of love and I'll see you just around the corner in 2019. Bye you guys.